What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and I finally figured out how to do the whole dispelling and crafting thing. Uh, I was doing it wrong before, all my cards I've been getting were from packs, so I can actually buy a pack right now. I have enough gold. Let's see what we can get. Anything new? Um, nothing I need. So... What you can do is, oh no, I have to mouse over them to find the new cards. Uh, if you click crafting in the bottom here, you will have a screen where you can see every card in the game, not just your own card. See, this is all the cards I have. I have one Lionheart Blessing, I have three Azurite Lions, they're all the factions, you can see that. But then if I click crafting, now there are purple cards. Uh, the purple just means I don't have any of them. I have zero of these cards, so it shows all the cards in the game if I keep going. And what you can do, you can buy any card in the game if you have enough, uh, you don't buy with gold, you buy it with spirit. So this whistling blade, for example, this uh, in neutral, I can click on it. And then crafting just means you can get the card, so if I click create, I can get it and it costs 40 spirit. So I can get this uh, whistling blade if I want to, but I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to bother. And the way you get spirit is you disenchant other cards. Uh, disenchanting means you just destroy the card and you lose it. So you get more... I believe I disenchanted everything I could do. Here, here's something I didn't disenchant. This, uh, this card. So if you click on it, when you're in the crafting menu, you can disenchant and you get 20 spirit for it. So you kind of destroy cards, get spirit, spend your spirit on more cards. Uh, it costs much more to make a card than you get from destroying a card, so be careful. Uh, you get much more spirit from destroying legendary cards with more more rarity, like I think is the second most rare. Uh, you get 100 spirit for this one. If you sacrifice the or disenchant the orange cards, you get like 350 spirit or something. But then to make an orange card, it costs 900 spirit, so it is expensive. And you see, I'm almost out of spirit, but. What I did is I upgraded my deck. I finally looked on the duelist forums and stuff to see what kind of decks top players are running. And I figured out that my deck was not an optimal deck. Uh, it was very similar to the starter deck. And then I just had some random cards here and there. So this is adapted from one of the decks that like some of the top players are using with Lionar. Uh, it's, it's a bit adapted. I crafted another one of these Arclight Regalia. It's really strong, this legendary. Um, I have three of these now. I'll just mouse over the whole deck so you can see. Now I have three Holy Emulations. I used to be playing with one, now that I know you can craft them. So I like about Duelist. Uh, now I know you can just get any card in the game if you can uh, afford it. It's not like you have to rely on luck finding it in a pack. Yeah, so I have more like standard two drops like this is a right lion and wind blade adept. I think I need them. And we're gonna play some ranked today in this video. And if you look at my profile, I well well we have exactly 50 wins. I did not that's not what I was going to show, but I'm at rank eleven and um I believe I only need one more win to get to rank ten and get gold status. So I want to be gold. We're going for the gold in this video. We just need to get this win. Uh, we're on a streak here, so we're actually halfway to 10, but a win here would bring us all the way to gold. But a loss here would mean we have to win two straight, uh, or three straight to get back to gold. So hopefully I can um, not have too much trouble in this next match. Alright, so I'm going second, facing Vitruvian. Uh, I don't have a 3-drop, but I have a 2-drop. Uh, I'll get rid of the Sun Drop Elixir. Don't really need to heal early on, and I have a Tempest. So if he plays something uh, with very less health, I might just consider playing a Tempest on turn 1. And he plays that, so I think I just might just do the Tempest, because, I mean, this 2-drop, it's decent. It's not really going to get me much. I'll get rid of the Iron Cliff Guardian. I'm not going to be playing that for a bit. And another Azurite Lion, so I will just play the Tempest. Um, I don't want to have to deal with the Blast Guy and just take damage every turn. And I get another one of those and a Windblade Adept. So if I can get on top of one of these Mana Springs, I will be able to 
put down two of my two drops. Um, and now he gets a couple of these. And it's my turn, so I will play two two drops this turn. I'll get rid of an Azurite Lion. I think I want to mix up the two drops. Ooh. Oh, uh, there's no. I can't really dispel anything. Nothing's worth dispelling. So, uh, let's move up. Let's place the lion back here. You can move two spaces. Now, can you attack during your. No. The celerity uh, does not overcome the summoning sickness. And play against the Vitruvian, so I have to worry about blast. I think I'm in an okay formation like this. And I'll take out one of these two teams. So now I'm down to 20 health, so I kinda hope I can draw one of those uh, potions to heal me by five. I don't have one. Yeah, so I'm back to kinda this kind of deck where I have uh, Divine Bonds. Um, so he gets Blast now, so that's uh, worrying. And he's able to take someone out. Okay, so I have to figure out how to do this. Oh, this guy is this guy's uh rank zero, so he knows what he's doing. This is gonna be tough. Um, I think an Iron Cliff Guardian might be good. You just play. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Ephemeral Shroud. That's pretty good. Right, so I'm gonna play the Iron Cliff Guardian just so he's provoked. And do I deal damage him just to lower the durability? I think I will. So let's move down. Destroy that. Move here. You are going to die. And I will airdrop you right here so he can't get me in a blast and hit both my guys okay and if he decides not to damage me I have oh there's good I have a sundrop elixir and divine bond this has 10 health so I can get big attack and maybe get a quick win in the game so we'll see what he's able to do right now oh no he had a repulsor beast that's not good for me I was hoping you didn't have any uh, any of that. Now I'm going to take five damage. Okay, so at least I didn't have an artifact, but he's still able to summon that dude. And that's going to lower me down to 11 health. Um, let's get rid of this thing. I'm gonna have to provoke again. So I will heal me up. I'm going to provoke both of these guys. And I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move away, I'm a little worried. I could have destroyed that, but I don't want to take any more damage. You see, he's a high attack right now. I'd like something to be able to... Alright, there's a Holy Immolation. I think that's going to be very, very good for us. It's going to lower the durability of my opponent's artifacts, as well as steal damage to him. Okay, so that overcomes... Oh, that's bad. That So you can move multiple spaces if you have that kind of card. Um, ugh, I can't reach that. Hmm. How do I... Alright, this guy's good. He's level zero. Get rid of that. Um... <laughs> How do I go about this? Let's go with a... Uh, I 
I don't have any provoke. It's not good. Well, let's. I'm gonna go with a holy immolation. Oh, so I should have damaged that first. Whoops, I messed that up. And let me get out of here. And I'll put this here just because I want to see if I can just lure him away from dealing damage to my general. Well, if, he, if I can just somehow get that, get this guy to be able to attack him, I have now two divine bonds. So I have a chance at winning this. Not a very good one. If he has something to increase his attack, I'm just done. He has six cards in his hand. This game could be over this turn. Um, what's he doing? Oh. Do I win the game? Did Lisa provoke? Wait a minute. Is that it? Do I get a crazy win? Well played. Wow. And let's go with it again. 23 attack. Boom. I made a mistake there. Uh, and I really didn't think I was going to be able to beat uh, that rank 0 guy. So that's my first time beating a rank 0 guy. El Sizor. And now I'm at rank 10. I got the gold. Awesome. So now, oh, that's a lot. Now you have to get a lot of wins to rank up. I really just wanted to get gold before the wipe for duelists. Because as you know, very soon they're going to wipe duelists. And you're going to have no more cards, no more gold. So that's why I don't really mind just dis uh, disenchanting everything, not really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just trying to learn the game. And now I don't think I'm going to be able to get to uh, rank zero. But by the time the wipe happens, but I'm glad I got to gold. And wow, I'm really, I'm still surprised I won that game. Uh, that divine thing, big attack really fast. Let's uh, see if we can get one more match in this video. Beyond the bounds. I will get rid of the five drop. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the, the two drop and the five drop. What's more important, this or this? I'm going to actually get rid of both of those. All right, yeah, because I have a lot of cards in my deck that like, I don't really mind replacing something. I'm gonna get rid of the Bright Moss Golem. I think I'd just rather have lower drops in my hand. And I get that back and that back. So next turn, if I can go atop this Mana Springs, I'll be able to play both of these Windblade add-ups. I've seen a lot of people play that card. Sarlacc the Eternal. And that, where's that gonna go? Hopefully it, yeah, nice, it summons somewhere in the back. Uh, let's get rid of the Tempest. Don't think I'll be needing that soon. Oh, so this has Celerity, so I can move twice. Um, <laughs> Should I just take this one instead so he... Or no, I, I don't even have to go into mana tile with this guy. Yeah, all I have to do... I will anyways though. Just so he can't get a mana tile. I think that's a good idea. So we can move again. Now I have four. I'm actually going to have five to play with. But did I replace something? Yeah, I did. And... I'm going to... Okay, I'm pretty jumbled up here. Uh, if he has a... Sh like that... Place, the thing that puts Shadow Creep in a 2x2 two two area, that might not be too good for me. Because I have three creatures in a 2x2 two two area right now. 
Oh, and he's rank zero as well. I guess we're in the big league now. Gold's ranking. So what's he doing? Uh, lots of ways to destroy things in my hand. Not, no big creatures. Now I wish I had those five drops back. I don't necessarily regret sacrificing them though, or replacing them. I should use the correct terms. Shadow Watcher. Okay, so that thing gets big if I don't deal with it. I still don't understand Shadow Creep. I have to learn what that means. Ah. So yeah, destroying that is pretty worthwhile because you just get that back. So where is it going to spawn? All the way back there. Right. The spawns have been pretty good to me. And it's my turn. Let's get rid of a Tempest. And I have a 5 drop. Do I play the 5 drop or do I just play the the uh, artifact here? This really good artifact. Well, can I destroy you? I really want to destroy that. I don't think I'm able to reach there though. Actually, I can move you twice. So maybe I will just move over there twice and play the Holy Immolation. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll heal you up to full health, so that can't be too bad. So, and I'm going actually to keep the rest of my hand. It's always nice to have a Tempest versus, uh, what is this called, Abyssian Host? Because... Uh, because... They, have, they can summon a lot of little wraithlings that really have to clear the board sometimes. So, I could have played 5 drop that turn, but I could have moved on top of this Mana Springs. But I think it was good to just take care of that Death Watch dude. I didn't want him to get any bigger. Here's a new card that I crafted. Uh, the Sun Tide Maiden. She heals to full health every turn. If you're next to the general. Another... Alright, so that's going to be a 6-6, six, six, and where's that going to spawn? Okay, and that's, they're going to have some health swappage. Uh, did that spawn right where it was? Hmm. Okay, so. Uh, this might be a problem. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I kind of think I should get a provoke down so I don't have to take damage from my general for that. I have five resources. Uh... Let's get rid of the Sun Tide Maiden. Oh, this is good. I can get you down to 4-4. Four, four. Um, but then do I really want to attack you? Oh yeah, I'll do this, yeah. So I will... Actually, I can't do that because I can't afford both. Oh god, uh, I'm running out of time. You know, let's just play um, this. And then this. And just damage you. I'll damage you twice, actually. I can damage you twice. I think that was okay what I did there. Yeah, that was fine. I'm running out of time, but... My other play was going to be destroying this thing, but as a 4-4... And he's provoked. It's not a huge deal. Another one of the Void Pulses. Those are worrying. Because he heals up. I get damage. Okay, now where's this going to spawn? Back over there. Okay, so now that's, a, that's one health. Deal two damage. And he's going to destroy that. That's a 6-6. Six, six. <sighs> okay. So. Let's get rid of one of these Golems. I have six resources, so I can't exactly do a whole lot here. I can play this, but you wouldn't die unless I dealt damage to you directly, which I don't really want to take six damage on my general to do.
Maybe I will do it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I have to get rid of this. So I, oh no, I can't even do it because I can't play this on a general. Okay, never mind. We're just going to... Try to get away, kind of. I'll play the... Golem. So he can't... I position myself in a way so that... Uh, as it stands, the Deep Fire Devourer can't move and destroy and deal damage to my general. Mana Forger. Oh boy, that's going to draw him four, four cards. Wow. And he has four more resources to work with. Oh man. That's not good. There goes that big dude. My turn. See, this is why I kept the Tempest. All of a sudden, he has a filled board, I don't. I will... I should I have like a low drop thing to play? Maybe I don't play the Tempest this turn. Let's get rid of one of these. Um, problem with playing a Tempest... Is... Yeah, let's play Tempest, actually. So I'll play the Tempest. I should have another Tempest so I can get rid of this. And that's closer to me now. Now, I could just go with the Arclife. Oh, I haven't. Oh no, I, I keep forgetting. I can't play this on my general. And I can't afford to do it another way. Alright, screw it. We're taking 4 damage on our general. Yeah. Taking four damage on my general. Maybe not the best choice there. But feels okay, I think. Oh. That's a bit scary. That has. Does that lower the durability? Yeah, a bit. And I do have another Holy Immolation. Now I can finally play it with more things. I get rid of a Silver Guard Knight. Okay, so. What do these do? I want to destroy as much of this as possible. So I play this, lower your health by two, then play the Holy Immolation. I think that's a good plan. Play this, lower your health by two. Now here comes the Holy Immolation. And I unfortunately don't have enough mana to play the Ephemeral Shroud. I could finally destroy this thing once and for all, but I guess I'll have to move it though. Now it loses its buff at least. Yes, I got a Sun Drop Elixir. So that's going to heal me up as long as I can survive this turn. Six cards in hand for him. And nine mana to work with. Close game, I think. Very close game. Wow, I'm pretty pretty proud that after a week, I'm able to... After a week of having this game, not even, I'm able to compete with rank 0 players. Alright, so... He basically destroys this. And that gets to move somewhere. Right there. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal you up. I know I'm going to do that this turn. It costs zero. Hmm. I want to get rid of the death watch thing. So I have to get you to be played there. Play one other unit. So I can play two 
six, nine. Got it, that's what I'm going to do. Two, six, nine. And I will get rid of the lion. Or there's that thing. I think I, I think I know my play. So I will play this, then this, and play this to make sure you can't move or attack anything but that. And. If you move down to, you'll have to do damage to the provoke unit. Again, provoke. There is dispel in the game, so can't be too sure what's going on. Oh no! Now he can deal damage with this straight to me. All right, so that's going to the bottom. It's going to deal four damage. Uh oh! Is he another one of those? Oh, he had another one. That's going to be game. That was a close game. Uh, he had both 4-1 rush dudes, so he can destroy me. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I played that game well, though. I think I played this game against this rank 0 guy better than I played the other rank 0 guy. Uh, I made some misplays in that game. This game, I think I played well. I almost won. He did a good job of evading defeat. Hopefully, I didn't miss any lethal. Oh, I'm not, I didn't lower to rank 11? So once you're gold, you can't go lower? Uh, does it still show me rank 10? Yeah, I'm still 10. I lost my winning streak, but it's all right. So I think that's actually my first loss I've recorded. Uh, so far when I've recorded, I've only been winning. But now I am losing um, now and then against rank low rank people like uh, rank zero people so that'll be it for today like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content uh follow on twitch and twitter and i'll see you next time